Hi, this is Tom, amateur radio call sign November 8, Foxtrot Delta Yankee. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the Compact Tenna 2040 Micro. I showed you a unpacking of that uh, a while ago, and this is user experience using it in FT8. So we're going to show you some FT8 contacts and then give you a little summary and uh, take a look at uh, who could use this antenna. So first we'll go through the uh, 40 meter contacts. Here's the first 40 meter contact we're going to look at and I know FT8 is like watching paint dry so I sped it up by 4x. Here's another contact and again it's sped up by 4x. That's a little further away this time. Another 40 meter contact even a little further away and our signal is reported a little stronger. Well this station didn't hear me right away, could have been interference, could have been propagation, but then the station did pick me up and we're able to get through on this contact also and it was the furthest for 40 meters. Well, on this day, there was nothing going on on 40, so I called CQ, got an answer right away. Just a reminder, this has all been sped up by 4X. Well, here's the last 40 meter contacts I'm going to demonstrate, and it worked out pretty good. Well, this is the smallest 40 meter NVS antenna I've ever seen, and it's 10 inches roughly in diameter and 10 inches tall. And on these six contacts that I'm showing, we definitely get respectable NVIS distances, anywhere from a little below 300 to a little above 400 miles. And yes, the signal reports are drastically different between what I received from them and what I sent, but still, it is a very small antenna, but it still performed well enough that if they had a signal uh, around minus five or higher, in this case the lowest one was minus one, uh, they will receive you. All right, as you can see it performs like a NVIS antenna and that's pretty much as it was described and it, uh, you know, it's not too bad for its size. Let's try 20 meters. Well, here's a contact on 20 meters. I called CQ because I didn't see anything interesting. And sometimes it takes a while before they call you back. Uh, remember, this is sped up by 4X. So there's a number of CQs sent out, but finally uh, somebody responds. And they're 700 miles away. I tried calling CQ again on 20 meters and I was getting a little impatient and didn't uh, get a response. Then I noticed something interesting on the screen and I decided to uh, give that guy a call and that station responded right away and we got the contact and it was the longest I got on this series of over 800 miles. Well the next day on 20 there were more people uh, out there so we started uh, responding to other people's CQs and it uh, worked pretty quickly. Here's another 20 meter contact. And this one, over 900 miles, was the longest contact in the two days. There was a retry in there, but that's typical of FT8, and uh, it went through fine. Here's another 20-meter contact. 
I missed one of his. He wished, missed one of mine, but eventually we connected, and it went through. And another contact over 900 miles. Here's the last 20 meter contact I'm showing in this demo. It went off without a hitch and it was uh, 770 miles away. Well, this is the smallest 20 meter antenna I've used or even know about and the performance is pretty good. We get anywhere from uh, about 660 miles all the way out to about 915 miles on 20 meters. So, FT8, 15 watts, 20 meters. If this is the only uh, size antenna you could put up, it works out pretty good. All right, now you've seen uh, the 20 meter contacts. You get a little further away. Um, in Easter, I was able to get to Spain, but I wasn't able to uh, get that far when I was making the videos. But it still was pretty good, considering the size of the antenna. Here's where I had the antenna up in the backyard. It was about 12 feet off the ground, and that's an estimate, but because uh, I didn't measure it. And uh, it's away from uh, metal by 10 feet. So you have to be at least 10 feet away from metal and at least 10 feet off the ground. I'm uh, also say that it would be good to have it higher if you can. Now who's this antenna for? Well, this antenna is for people who can't put up any bigger antenna. This is a very tiny antenna. It's roughly um, about 10 inches in diameter and about 10 inches tall. So it's very small and it has very few restrictions. You just have to keep it at least 10 feet away from any metal and you should have it at least 10 feet off the ground. Um, some people put it in their attic. Uh, I did not because my attic is full of metal and I have lots of uh, water and gas pipes and electrical wires up there. Uh, mostly because this house doesn't have a basement, so they put as much as they could up in the attic. Um, it's primarily for people who have a very tiny space but still want to get on the air. Uh, it does work uh, with sideband, but I don't really do sideband much. Uh, more of an FT8 guy. And there are other videos out there on the internet showing sideband contacts. Uh, you can run 100 watts into it for sideband, but if you're going to run FT8, you run 15 watts. So all these contacts I showed you I made were all with 15 watts. And uh, that's pretty good for 15 watts. Now, if you have the space and the time to put up other antennas, that's fine. But this antenna is meant for people who are in HOAs or other situations where they just cannot have the space to put up an antenna. And, uh, but they want to get on the air. And this will definitely get you on the air on 20 and 40. And as they say, if you can only have one antenna, it should be a 40 meter. And if you can only have two, it should be a 40 and a 20. Because those are the uh, probably most popular HF bands that work all year round for uh, amateur radio. So all in all, I'd say that if you're in a really tight spot and you can't put up a vertical, you can't put up a, a dipole, and you can't uh, see any other way to get an antenna going, uh, this is a way to get on the air for HF. Anyway, thanks for watching this, and uh, um, I will uh, talk to you guys later. So this is N8FTY saying uh, 73 and take it easy.